when it comes time to editing your Bytecat EXE drawing, you need to look in two places. Firstly, at the modified drop down menu, where clearly you can erase and copy entities, move, rotate, and so on. But some of these commands or instructions or tools, whatever you want to call them, are available on the standard toolbar. But they're also available if, for the sake of argument, we select this block, which is a combination of several entities grouped together. And if we right click, can you see that we've got some of the edit commands here? And you might find it far more convenient to select an entity and modify by accessing the commands in the right mouse click menu. So let's just experiment. If I pick move, I must denominate a base point so I could start bottom left. And can you see I'm anchored at bottom left? Don't forget that when you select an entity such as this, you can without issuing the move instruction, you can move it by picking it up in the middle. If you pick at the handle on the right hand side, you can see we're stretching it or alternatively go up in this direction where we're stretching again. So although we're discussing the modify menu here, you can do an awful lot with a simple selection of an entity and then move it or twist it or alter it via the handles that are contained in every entity. So if we select, as we've done now, an arc, and there's a circle, I'll just click here and make that such that I can select two entities at once. I'll make, pick the ellipse as well. So I can change the properties of an element without even activating the scale and rotate and move menu here, I can change an awful lot just by clicking and dragging the handles of an entity once it's selected. And it's quite useful to select a whole group of them as I've done there. Then I'll unselect all. So let's look at these commands. Erase does the logic, the obvious thing. If we select an entity, hit the delete key or right click and say erase, it's gone. If we copy an entity, we can copy and move it and rotate it and scale it and run, make an array, which could be a rectangular or a circular array. Let's just practice some of that. I'll pick this spiral and I'll copy it from here over to here and then exit from there. Let's, let's select it. Whoops. Why have we got such a big, I'll unselect all. The reason that was large was that I had previously left it selected in that zone. So let me zoom in. So let's go back here. We've dealt with arrays. Now we're going to copy. We can mirror and copy, scale and rotate. For me, that's a little confusing. So I'll pick copy and move. And I think I'm, I've just dropped into the move commands. So we we are copying. I cannot quite see the difference there. I don't quite understand that. Let's unselect all. So the copy is combined with a move, scale and rotate. So we maybe I do a copy and rotate at the same time. Let's try again. It might be simpler if we take just a line. So graphics and line, a simple line. Here's a simple line and we'll exit. Now we're going to select it. We're going to copy. No, we don't want to do it that way. We want to go from the drop down menu, modify, copy, and rotate, we'll rotate about its central position. So we indicate there and we can spin it around, spin it around. We are, we're doing a copy and rotate all in the same action. So I think it's going to be well worth you experimenting with options that arise from just selecting an entity and then going modify and copy and access these. We can obviously do a rectangular array and a circular array. Let's do that. Let's draw a circle. 
centre radius here and here. And a, an array could be copies of that staggered at equal intervals or around some sort of nominated point. So let's go modify and copy and we'll make a circular array. No selected entity, so we pick entity, modify, copy, circular array, up pops this box. So we're going to put, let's say, five entities here. We'll fill around the 360. We need to pick a center point for our array, which would be there, and we can OK. And there is our array. So there's some very powerful tools in that modify um, drop down menu there. Certainly these options through here you should experiment with. Whereas if you just pick that and say copy, you're just doing, you're copying one entity without any opportunity to grab all of those other options. I think that's enough for this very first look at the modify drop down.